today's video is probably the one I have been most excited to record out of any video I've ever done. I have wanted to try Stitch Fix for literally years. Like I have like kind of daydreamed about it for years. And what has kept me from doing it is honestly the price point. Because if you know me, you know I am very thrifty. I find all the best like bargains and deals on clothes especially. Um, I can do some serious damage when I shop, but for very little money. <laughs> and so um, when I would look at Stitch Fix at the clothes at the individual pieces and how much they cost, I was like, oh gosh, like I am not someone who spends $60 on a shirt. I don't usually spend $20 on a shirt. So um, I mean, usually like 12 is kind of my max. So for me, it was like, it just doesn't make sense for me, you know? But I still always really wanted to try it. Like, I just love the concept of Stitch Fix. And um, at the time, when I first heard about Stitch Fix, it was really the only clothing subscription like this that I had ever seen anywhere. Um, since then, I've seen some other ones like Fashion and um, Nadine West. Um, Nadine West, I'm actually super, super interested in, and Fashion. Um, Nadine West, though, like, has much more comparable to like my types of pricing on most things. Um, so I, I really do toy with the idea of trying that out, but we'll see. But um, yeah, so I am very excited to give this Stitch Fix a try. And the reason I decided to do so is because my youngest sister actually just decided to try it. And she sent my other sister and I, she had two people she could send to they were doing a promotion that you could give a $100 credit to someone to try it. So that means I have a $100 credit to use toward this box. So I am pumped. I was like, I am not missing out on that chance. <laughs> like, are you kidding me? So um, I went ahead. This is my box. I just undid the tape up here and I have not looked inside. I Something I'm very happy about is that it doesn't feel very heavy. So that makes me think that there aren't like bulky sweatery pieces in it which is good because I didn't really want that. Um, I was very thorough with my profile and the things that I wanted, the things I didn't want um, and I, I made like a Pinterest board and sent that also so that the stylist could see exactly what I was hoping for out of this box. So we are going to see. I am hoping, I'm really hoping there are pieces in here that I really want to use this $100 credit toward because that would be such a waste otherwise. So um Oh, I'm stuck to the return mailer. Let me see. Oh, no. It was like the return mailer was kind of messed up in there. So I'm going to have to tape that. But that's okay. So there's a little hole. But anyway, they give you a return label with, um, you know, everything on it. So you can just stick it in the mail. Actually, I'll probably drop it off at the mailbox or at the mailbox at the post office when I go there on Tuesday. But, um... You guys will be seeing this much after I'm actually doing this, so that is relevant. But yeah, so I am excited to see what is in here. I do not want to look at, I know that there's like little cards that tell you things and all that good stuff that's all in this little envelope right here, but I'm going to wait until the end to do that because I don't want to spoil anything. Okay, there's just something I'm seeing peeking out on the end right now, and I, this is the dumbest thing ever. I just got goosebumps. Can you see him? I just got goosebumps from clothes. Yes, I love clothes that much. I seriously do. Clothes are my number one. I love makeup, but clothes are honestly my number one thing that I absolutely love. Clothes and shoes. Oh my gosh. Okay. If this is any indication, oh, I'm seeing another print. Okay. I'm just going to start talking about it and show you guys. So, oh my gosh, you guys. I am so excited about this. This is, I am like so stupidly excited right now. All right. I'm just going to pull the bundle out. So here's my bundle nicely with a little sticker there. Here's a little look on the end. I do see something sweatery, but that's okay. So some things that I specifically told my stylist that I was looking for were, well, I told her my main wardrobe is like skinny jeans or leggings with cute tops. That's what I like. I'm not really athletic. Um, I wear athletic clothes at home all the time because I actually work out, but I don't wear them like out in public. So I'm not really into like the athleisure kind of style. Um, I love boho type pieces and I've been looking for for forever a pair of petite like bell bottoms I would love a pair of cute bell bottoms and I was like you know I don't care what material but jean would be preferable but whatever like I would just really love to try that but I love like boho style tops so those were the things and I love pantsuit or uh romper no jumpsuits that's what I'm trying to say I love jumpsuits they fit very well with my height and like body proportions. So those were all things I sent pictures of were different bell bottoms, different like boho type shirts and like 70s inspired. I have always loved in high school. I used to like 
embellish my own jeans with patches and beads. And I went to the thrift store. I'd find like 70s style like sweaters. And I loved that style. Like I always have. Um, I kind of got away from it for a while, but it's, I've always loved it. So I'm like, no, I want to go back because that is stuff that I enjoy. Um, and yeah, jumpsuits. So jumpsuits, bell bottoms, boho shirts were the main things I put like on my Pinterest and all that. All right. So let's just go ahead and rip into this. I'm so excited. I did not want to look at the prices ahead of time either, or like as I open things either, because I don't want it to sway me because I know me. And I know if I see something and I'm like, oh, that's $60, that's too much for that. Well, if it's something I really, really, truly love and I have this $100 credit, then girl, keep it. So that's something I have to talk myself into sometimes because I am very like reasonable and thrifty like that. That like sometimes I have to talk myself into like splurging a little bit. And this is a perfect time to do it since it's a credit that I didn't pay for. Oh, no, Okay, things are sliding. Oh, oh, things are happening. Things are happening. Oh my gosh, there's like the... um. What am I trying to say? The patterns or like whatever of these prints, that's not sorry, prints, prints are just amazing. Okay. First off, this is what I saw right at first, right on top. This is the Skies Are Blue Erica Woven Lace Front Knit Top. And it says it's a Stitch Fix exclusive. And it looks like this. So it's, you know, a tank. The back, I like that the back is like a cotton material, but the front is more of like a, a linen kind of with that cute detail. What I love about this is I also like to wear cute tanks, like, I mean, obviously in the summer, but also under cardigans a lot. So this with like leggings or skinny jeans, that is kind of my staple like outfit is a lot of cardigans with cute tanks underneath and then skinny jeans or um, leggings with either combat boots or just booties or yeah, I love it. So I think this is adorable and I'm very excited to try it on. I just, I love textures. And that's another thing I said. I'm like, I love textures. I love prints, pretty much all colors. Like I'm, I'm down for anything. So that's awesome because it's a very versatile piece. Okay. This print and color I absolutely love. All right. This is the West Key Cassia tie front blouse in navy. It says it's also a Stitch Fix exclusive. And it looks like this. So it's got this little V cut out in the front, which I'm fine with. I love sleeves that are like this, that gather a little tighter. I love it. I mean, look at this print in this color. Oh, I don't have anything like this and I love it. And then it has the tie front down here. But what I like is it doesn't seem to be, um, hello, can you see? Um, doesn't seem to be super short because I hate when the tie front like comes up really short in front. I have like the mom pouch and I don't like like to wear cropped type things. So I'm very happy with that. And it's like more sheer that you wear a tank under, which I have a lot of these types of shirts because I really enjoy that. Um, because it's like cool enough, but especially like in the spring and stuff here in Michigan, you still need like a little more coverage. So having a tank and this, oh, I can't wait to try these on. I sure hope that this stuff fits and looks cute and that I can buy some of it. Okay, today's actually Valentine's Day when I'm recording this. My husband did get me some pretty awesome stuff. Like, I'll, we do keto, and so he got me a lot of, like, keto snacks and stuff, but he also did get me sushi for today because I love sushi, so I'm going to splurge a little today and have some. But, um, yeah, so, but I'm pretty sure if I fall in love with something and it takes me a little over my $100 credit that he'll be my valentine and let me get it <laughs> all right next up is the love ellie audra side lace-up detail textured cardigan and beige okay this is cute but well i'll just show it to you okay so it's just a cardigan cute cute right it's got the little lace-up detail on the sides which i think is very cute and i love when cardigans have pockets here and then you know the back's just plain um Card cute cardigan and like I said I love cardigans this is totally they were right on point to send this um the only thing is I have a like this color cardigan but it's got um just some different flecks of color in it and um so I probably wouldn't keep it simply because of that because it's so similar to something I already have but I'm still gonna try it on and I think that they still did a good job by sending it because it's totally my type of thing it's just how are they to know that I already have one very similar in color right Okay, this, 
okay okay so yeah I said bell bottoms and stuff but I also said like boho style pants like any kind of boho style pant and so I thought this was gonna be a shirt it is not I also said I didn't want skirts or dresses I didn't want any jewelry or purses or shoes or anything like that I just wanted pants and tops so just so you know like and they listen man oh okay this is the 151 Marjorie printed wide leg plant wide leg pant and so oh my is this petite? I mean, I hope so. They know I'm petite. So, all right. I kept putting that on everything too. I'm like petite, this petite, because I'm um, just under five foot one, if you don't know. And, oh my gosh, these seem so small, but, oh, I guess it stretches a lot. Look at that print. I have a shirt, actually, that is a very similar print to this that I love. Obviously, wouldn't wear them together. But, so it's the wide leg like this. Oh my, oh, please let these fit. Please let these fit me. Oh my gosh. It has the cute little green tassel oh this is like what I'm dreaming of okay this is like exactly what I was hoping for and this would be so fantastic for summer because I don't like shorts I typically only wear sh um dresses and skirts and stuff in the summer um and then but I'm like that's not always practical because sometimes when you go different places you can't really wear dresses you know like we're gonna um go to Universal Studios in April I mean it's like 99.9% .9 sure and um I'm wearing pantsuits. I'm so excited to have like these super lightweight, cute pantsuits to be able to wear that are comfortable, cover my legs like I like and feel comfortable with, and are still super lightweight and won't make me too hot. I mean, there were years and years where I wore jeans all summer, so if that tells you anything. I, I've i lost a significant amount of weight from what I used to be, like close to 50 pounds, I think. Um, So for a long time, I was like very uncomfortable in my own body. And so uh, my legs, because of being as big as they were and losing a lot of weight, I have a lot of loose skin and that makes me uncomfortable. So that's why I don't like wearing shorts because it's in my upper thigh that um, the skin is loose, you know? So, um, so something like this is like super adorable and, but will be, you know, keep me feeling covered, but nice and cool and oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna make this video forever if I keep talking so much about every piece before I show it to you on. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, please fit. And then the last thing I see here is, and these are petite, too petite, Democracy Catherine Bootcut Jean in the shade Indigo. Okay, so they probably didn't have bell bottoms, which is fine, but um, I don't really have any bootcut jeans either, so that is a good alternative, right? And then, um, let's see here, curvy quality, engineered to lift, expand, and enhance for a universal fit because all shapes are different but created equal. That's so cute. I love that. Okay, so this is what they look like. This is so funny. I just had a pair of jeans from Old Navy that had like a kind of a matte blue um, button like that and for some reason I like it. All right, so even like the little grommets on it are that matte blue. That's kind of cute. Um, okay, so they look like that in the front. So they just have like that light you know, kind of color distressing, which I like. They do not have like um, rips or anything like that. So the bottom is a boot cut like this, not like extreme, but cute. And I can't wait to try them on. And then the back, oh, I kind of like the way the pockets are. It's something a little different. Um, they're like a pretty basic pocket, but then I like how they go down to a point and have that little middle seam thing there. So that could be really cute. And I like the shape up at the top here. So that is what those look like. So I have to say the stylist, I can't wait to read about her and tell you, um, but I think she did a bomb job picking out pieces. Like she absolutely listened to everything I said. That is awesome. So, all right, let's get into trying this stuff on and then we'll come to the end, check out prices and all that good stuff. And I can't wait to hear what you guys think. And I can't wait to see what I'm gonna end up loving and keeping. Okay. So here is the first outfit. I think you can tell by the smile on my face that I am enjoying it. Um, the pants are pretty long, which I'm trying to show you. And I have like a good wedge sandal on. So um, yeah, I'm kind of bummed about that because they're really long. Like I keep stepping on them. Um, but I love the print. They are so cute. And I think they're flattering. And I love that tank. It's adorable. The detail on it for just being like a white tank, you know, I don't know, the mixed um, materials is just awesome. So that's what it looks like if it's completely pulled out. I'm letting you know that it's very soft. The material is fantastic because even though it's a cotton kind of material on the front there, it's not um, 
scratchy. And then the pants go up nice and high, but which I love. But they, this elastic wasn't tight enough. It didn't stay up really high. But you can see, like, the pants are just really far down over my shoes. What do you guys think? I love it. It's such a cute outfit. And, like, just kind of dressy but casual but just, like, cute, you know? And as you can see here, I'm pretty much feeling myself. All right. And then here are the jeans and the cardigan with that same... Uh, tank underneath. The cardigan is cute. I do like the detail on it and everything. I do like the color. It's very soft and comfortable. I feel like it fits me. I'm telling you, I love that tank. <laughs> I can't stop. Um, yeah, cute cardigan, but like I said, I have one very similar to it, so um, it doesn't like thrill me in any kind of way or anything, but it is a cute cardigan. I, I can see why someone would like to have it, and I'm glad that they included it in my box for me to try out. So soft. And then I'm going to show you my jeans here. Now, my other like lookbooks that I've done in the past, I have gone very quickly with the outfits, so I decided I would slow things down a little and really show you these pieces since I'm deciding on if I want them or not. So these are the jeans. They're about a mid-rise, I think. I think it even said that. Um, but nothing crazy. Um, I mean, they look fine on the butt. They're nothing amazing. Like, I could have lifted. I looked better when they were lifted like that. I'm showing you that the waistband um, is nice and snug to me. It's not popping out in the back because I hate when there's that gap. So, yeah, just kind of showing you the rise. Um, I like the color of them and everything like that. I have my cute little leopard wedges, sand, what am I trying to say, sneakers on. So, um, yeah, so what do you guys think of this outfit? I think it's a cute casual. This is like a go to the grocery store kind of look to me. Um, but not anything that I'd wear, like, feeling super cute or something. Although I do really love my shoes. <laughs> All right. This top. How cute is this top? I don't have anything like this with a little tie. I realized afterward um, that the tie, like, when they had tied it, was a little off to one side. So I kept having to readjust the shirt. Once I realized that later, I fixed it and it doesn't keep needing to be adjusted. Um, so it scoops kind of down in the back there at the bottom so you can see. And again, with those same jeans, I just put on a different wedge um, sandal. And yes, I really, really like that top. The colors are awesome. It's super comfortable and lightweight. I love sleeves like that because they're not too long because I have shorter arms. So a lot of times the sleeves on things are too long on me. And even if they gather at the bottom. So this would probably be a slightly shorter sleeve on people with longer arms. But oh, I love the print. It's just so cute, the little detail at the top. And then I'm just showing you, I'm just wearing a plain white tank underneath it. So that works perfect for the sheerness of the shirt. And um, yeah, so that's if the shirt's kind of tucked up in the back and then kind of shows you if it's down and you can see like the scoop of it. So I kind of like that it's a little longer in the back like that than in the front. But I love that little tie detail. I just think this outfit is really cute and I do like it with those um, sandals actually because the color matches up really nice. It's maybe kind of hard to tell on camera, but it's a really good contrast between them. And yeah. Now I wanted to show you those pants again with these higher wedges that I had on. And I'm telling you, it's better, but they're still long. And I hate that because I really do love those pants. They're just so stinking cute. Like, they're just feminine and girly, and I just love them. I love stuff like that. I love a good, like, boho, flowy kind of pant. So I just wish they were a little bit shorter. Okay, guys, now comes the hard part. I'm going to run through real fast and just tell you what I'm thinking about each piece before I look at the prices and stuff. Hmm. Okay, first off, the cardigan. I think it's a super cute cardigan. It's very comfortable. It fits fantastically. Like I felt like it would fit, like it was made for me. Um, I like the detail on it and everything. However, because it is um, very similar in color to a cardigan that I already have, I don't feel like I, it's something that I'm gonna need to keep. And I have a feeling it's gonna be kind of pricey anyway, so that's probably gonna be helpful to me. <laughs> um, and hopefully being able to keep some other things that I want to keep here. Um, next up is this tank. You guys, this honestly might be my favorite thing in the whole box. I When I first looked at it, I'm like, oh, that's super cute. But, you know, it's a tank and it's white. The way this fits me, I love, like, where it sits on my arms and stuff. Like, 
Um, my arms are something I'm very self-conscious about and I feel like it didn't give me like the broadness kind of that some tanks I feel like maybe make me look, I don't know. We all have our things and you know, in our own minds sometimes it is, but it's just something I struggle with. But I felt like my arms and stuff looked pretty good in this and I just, it's super comfortable. It's so soft. It's so lightweight. It'll be so amazing in the summer and so cute under cardigans too. And I love that it's um, a very versatile piece because something else that you may not know about me is I tend to go for prints and colors and patterns and, and I don't do a lot of basics. And sometimes you want a basic like how I paired it with these pants. So um, I really love this. So I think this is gonna end up being a keep probably for sure. <laughs> um, next up were these pants. You guys, I love these. And I thought this was so small, but it stretches like crazy. And I actually wish it was a little bit more elasticized, like the elastic was a little tighter because then when I pull it up, if it would stay up there, it'd be great, but it slides down. And since they're already a little long, it makes it worse where it's like if they would stay up where I first put them, then it would just be a little bit too long. And as you saw with the second pair of shoes, I think I could get away with it better then, um, but they do slide down. And so that makes it hard. Otherwise, I love them. I love the way they look. I love the way they look like on my butt area and stuff. Um, I think they're so cute. The pattern and everything is so fun. And so my thing with these is because I really love them and I want to keep them and it's exactly something I was picturing and wanting, um, would be how easy would they be to hem? I'm not a seamstress. I do have a sewing machine and I can do simple things, but would I be able to hem these and make them look right? That is my big question. So price and what other things I want to keep that's going to determine with these and then next up was this shirt or is this shirt I love this print love the color I love the way the shirt feels I love the way it looked on I just felt like it was super cute and my style and has a little bit of a boho kind of 70s flair to it but not like super duper but just cute and I just love these colors so much so this is a very this is a good contender right here, okay? And then last up is the jeans. And um, I have to say, when I first put them on, I didn't especially love them. I don't feel like they do anything amazing for my body. Um, I do like the way the band is like elasticized like this because it does um, like keep them from gaping in the back, which I kind of tried to show in the video. Um, I like the color of them. I like the markings on them, that kind of thing. I like the pockets in the back and the shape in the back. I think that's all great. Um, I wish they had more of a flare at the bottom and I am a couple pounds more than I want to be at the moment. <laughs> I kind of gained a little bit of weight during like Christmas time, you know, and so I'm working on getting that back where it should be. And then I think they will fit better like in my thighs because my thighs right now, I definitely, my arms and thighs are where I noticed it like first when I gain weight. It's ridiculous. But, um, so that part, like they're a little tight in the thighs for me right now, my liking, but also having them on for a while, they would probably stretch out because they're a little bit stretchy, but they didn't do anything fantastic for me. Like I wasn't like, I love these pants. Oh my gosh, I have to keep these. My husband, on the other hand, he's a huge fan of these pants. He's like, what do you mean you don't like them? What don't you like about them? And he just kept following me around. <laughs> and so that says a lot. So I told him, I'm like, what if these are a hundred dollar pair of jeans? Are they worth that to you? And he's like, they might be like how hilarious. So, um, and ladies, I'm sure you would agree. It's nice to have a husband who like feels that way about you. And so if he wants to pay for a pair of jeans, cause he likes them, that, who am I to argue? Right. All right. Let's get into seeing here what we have going. So it says, Oh, hello. Take a peek tucked inside pieces from your stylist off outfit inspiration and personalized style advice. Blah, blah, blah. Um, this says, thanks for letting us style you. So this should be, um, Mary was my stylist. So um, let's see. And then let's go here, right? Is that all I have left? No, is this a note for my stylist? I don't know. I've never done this before. So, um, okay. No, this just tells me what I need to do. So, um, Discover and decide, try on all the item, items your stylist selected for you, pair them with favorites from your closet and use the enclosed style cards for inspiration. You might be surprised by what you like once you've tried everything on. Um, decide what you love and what you want to send back. So, um, and I'm sure there are pieces in my closet too I could mix and match, obviously with jeans and stuff, but I just didn't really look that close. Um, 
Visit stitchfix.com within three days of receiving your shipment to complete your return survey, which would be today. So I have to do that today. Rate your items, confirm payment for what you're keeping, and tell us what you're sending back. Your feedback will make your future shipments even better. Don't forget to schedule your next Stitch Fix shipment while you're there. Did you know you can choose to have access done automatically? It's the easiest way to always stay stylish. I did put that I will demand a fix when I want it because, um, like I said, with price point of things and stuff, and I really want to try them out, but I don't know how practical it is in my lifestyle. Um, and then send it back. Keeping all items, great. You can skip this step. If you have items to return, simply place them in the enclosed prepaid shipping bag and drop it at any USPS mailbox or collection site within three business days. So um, I will take, well, I might run them tomorrow then. Um, that's it. A new you in one tiny box. I wish they would give you a little more than three days, especially if you're someone who does YouTube and wants to be able to show it to people because that does not give you much time to work with. And I got, I wasn't supposed to get the box until tomorrow and I got it on Friday. And so it kind of messed me up a little bit because we've had a really busy weekend. So, um, yeah. Um, and so then it just shows the different ways. So this says, this is my little note from Mary. Hi, Danielle, and welcome to Stitch Fix. I am so excited to send you some awesome pieces awesome new pieces to add to your wardrobe that make you look and more importantly feel amazing. With each fix I'd love to get your feedback on what you like and if anything didn't quite hit your style mark. That way I can improve my selections for you with each new fix. I saw your note about wanting to try some bell bottoms and boho slash 70s style pieces so let's dive right in with the democracy jeans. This is actually a boot cut style so let me know what you think. It has a mid-rise waist with some stretch in the material to give you a better fit and more comfort. Excuse me. I also wanted to send you the 151 wide leg pants to try. Pair them with the Skies are Blue top and love LA cardigan and let me know what you think. So they're telling you to do that um, tank with those wide leg pants with the cardigan over it. Um, that's not as much my style. To me, that takes away the boho look of it uh, for me. So like, but I get why they would say that. Um, and then it just shows you some different ideas of ways you can style. So now here's the most important part, the pricing, right? Okay. So... Let's start with the thing that I know I'm not keeping. We'll just knock that one out. This is the Love Ellie, woo. Uh, Audra side lace up detail texture cardigan and beige. It is $46. Okay, it's not one. <laughs> okay. $46. I would not pay $46 for a sweater. That's just not me. But that's okay. Not that that's an outrageous price. That's just not me. So anyone, please don't be offended by me saying like these are crazy prices. They are for me and my lifestyle. They may not be for you. So, um, yeah. And then, um, let's talk about these pants. The Democracy Catherine Bootcut Jean, uh, Indigo. So all, everything I got was a size small and the jeans are a size too petite. So, um, and these are $78. You guys, I would never in a million years pay $78 for a pair of pants. Like literally never. So I feel like if I had loved these and was like, oh my gosh, I have to have these pants, then this would be a great time to get them since I have $100 credit. But I don't feel that way about them. And I'm sure I can find another pair of pants that will have my husband chasing me around the house for a lot cheaper price. <laughs> so I don't feel like these make sense for me to keep. All right. Next up, we will go with this. Ah, it's falling all over the place. I'm assuming this is the... Okay, this is the West Key Cassia Tie Front Blouse in Navy. It is $42. $42 for this type of shirt. I literally pay like $6 for this style of shirt. Again, that's the way I shop. It's not like that everywhere, like different parts of the country. You may not be able to find deals like that. Or if you have a different taste about textures or materials, I'm going to tell you guys, I honestly find just because something is more expensive does not mean it's better quality. I have clothes that I have bought on clearance at cheap places for like two or three dollars that have lasted me 15 years. Like it's just, but I like a big wardrobe. And so I, things don't get worn out really fast. So it just doesn't make sense to me to spend a ton of money on one piece. However, I do really like this shirt. So this is definitely a contender in my, um, with my credit that I have. And then, um... Let's talk about these pants. So these are the 151 Marjorie printed wide leg pant um, in black, obviously. These are $38. Again, I would never pay $38 for these because I have pants kind of like this that I paid $10 for. Um, similar type style. And, um, but again, okay. Um, 
a lot of people might not think $38 is a lot for those. And then my favorite favorite is this tank. It's the um, Skies Are Blue Erica Woven Lace Front Knit Tank in white. It is $48. Who in their ever loving right mind would pay $48 for a tank top? Please tell me if you would pay $48 for a tank top. Because, girl, you got way more money than I do if you're paying $48 for a tank top. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Like, that is not in my world. <laughs> um, But I do really love this tank top. So, I think I think I am going to go ahead and keep it since I have that $100 credit. And, um, oh gosh, it's so hard, you guys. Because, let me see. $128 would be my total if I kept... Um, cause if you keep everything, you get a 25% off discount. Um, but yeah, this is, this would be $12, $12. What in the world am I talking about? Um, to keep this, this, and this would be 128. So then I would only pay the $28 because that would just be what's above my credit. So but the pants are long. And I would need to hem them, but I don't want the cardigan and the pants are so expensive. Hmm. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to talk to my husband. I'm going to go over all the options because, okay, if I kept all of these pieces, the, okay, the style of all of these pieces together are $252 is the total. If I bought all of them, it would take off 25%, which would be $63, which would make my order subtotal $189, and I have $100 credit, so then I would just be paying $89. However, even though that seems amazing, for these five pieces, I wouldn't go into a store and pay $89 for them. So for me, it doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to leave down in the description box what I choose. So you guys are going to have to check it out there because I really have to think this over and decide exactly what I want to do. Um, and I don't feel like I have the time to sit here and really think about it and tell you on camera. But, and by the way, I want to address my hair, what it looked like in this whole video because I tried a new shampoo and conditioner yesterday because it's a second day hair. It is not for me. It's like a anti-frizz smoothing shampoo, which basically just makes my hair look greasy and a mess. So yeah, that will not be happening. <laughs> um, but I felt like I needed to address that because as I was looking back at the footage of trying on the clothes, I'm like, oh my gosh, my hair looks terrible. But anyway, so yeah, you guys let me know what you think, what you think I should keep. Before you look in the description box to see that I did keep, let me know in the comments what you think I should keep and what you think of Stitch Fix. I think, honestly, I think it's a really cool subscription. I think my stylist, Mary, thank you, Mary, not that she'll ever see this, but did a phenomenal job. She absolutely listened to me and chose things that were very much things that I enjoy and, you know, are my style. So for that, I think this is awesome. Um, I think the reason Stitch Fix might not be for me I, I think it's for people who don't have time to shop or maybe have a little more of a budget <laughs> um, or people who have a hard time putting together pieces or knowing, you know, just, yeah. Or like if you're a size that's a little bit difficult to shop for or something, maybe it's easier to do it this way where you know they're sending you exactly the type of size instead of trying to go and search through at a store, things like that. Like I think there are awesome benefits to Stitch Fix and what they do. Um, and having it sent to your house and being able to try it at home and really get a good look at things and not feel like you're in a dressing room for a limited period of time, if you can even get in a dressing room right now at some places. And so I think it's awesome that way. I don't think it's for people like me who are on a budget, who are, um, you know, very much interested with in finding good deals and good bargains and who like to have an expansive wardrobe because I like to try, you know, wear out, wear out, wear different things all the time and things like that. I feel like if you're somebody who just wants like more of a capsule wardrobe, especially maybe for like a work wardrobe or something like that. Um, and a few fun pieces for casual, this could be really great for you, but, um, I don't think it's necessarily for me. So, um, I, I had a very good experience with my first stitch fix now to decide what I want to do for sure. And, um, yeah, 
we'll we'll see this was so much fun you guys i had so much fun with it and now i want to do more try on videos and show you guys like my style the kind of clothes that i like to wear and that kind of stuff so let me know if you're interested in seeing that and um yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it if you would like to see more try ons and things like that and um maybe some different style ideas and things like that all right thank you guys so much for watching i'll talk to you very soon bye